And now joining us from Harris County's Flood Control District, meteorologist Jeff Lindner. And Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about what you do for the Flood Control District? Yeah, so my job role and during times like this is to become the meteorologist for all of Harris County and all the county departments and, of course, the emergency management officials here and sit with them uh, in the emergency operations center uh, side by side to answer the, the questions they have about the storm, the track, the intensity, the models, uh, and the impacts. And so that has been my job over the last uh, really five or six days, first dealing with Marco and now dealing with Laura. And now we are looking at Laura coming in and there are some places under evacuations that are mandatory and some are voluntary. Can you explain the difference in how people should react when their zones or counties are under those? Yeah, so really the voluntary evacuation is, uh, hey, this is a recommendation that we suggest you get out of this area. Uh, the mandatory is kind of the next step and the next level that we uh, are highly recommending that you leave. Uh, and, and just to know, in, in a lot of cases in the mandatory evacuation areas, if you, if you do not leave, there will not be any sort of 911 responses and services in the event that the hurricane happens and you need some type of help because we're not going to put first responders down uh, and put their lives in danger in those areas. And so that's why we really call for that mandatory evacuation um, to get people out of there so we're not putting other people's lives in danger. And that's why we are stressing everybody under mandatory evacuations to take those seriously. But it's not just along the coast, Jeff. We can see storm surge and devastating flooding pretty well inland from this storm. Yeah, it, it, this is really a, uh, a uh, wind hurricane and a storm surge hurricane. We're, we're not very worried about the inland freshwater flood threat. This is not a Harvey or an Imelda uh, that's going to uh, move slowly and produce lots of rainfall. The storm is going to be moving quickly. It is going to hit and, uh, and be out of here. So we're not expecting any sort of, of uh, rainfall-induced flooding, but we are extraordinarily concerned about the life-threatening potential of storm surge, especially from about the Bolivar Peninsula on eastward into coastal Louisiana. And I cannot stress enough that if you are in those evacuation areas, you need to be heeding that advice and getting out. And Jeff, for people that are maybe not familiar with the area, can you explain how flat certain spots are or are there areas that you see are going to flood much quicker than others? Yeah, it's, it's very flat along the Texas coastal plain and, of course, in the marshlands of southern Louisiana. And so when we have even a little bit of rise of the Gulf of Mexico, uh, we can impact a large area of land. And so just to give you some idea here in Harris County, uh, we have about a foot of, elevate, of elevation rise per about a mile as you drive inland. And so storm surge can penetrate very far inland along the coast. And of course, uh, the storm surge is always going to be greatest near where the center makes landfall and to the right or to the east of where you see that center make landfall. So right now, considering the storm making landfall east of us, that's that highest storm surge looking like it's going to be over in the Beaumont, Port Arthur, Sabine Pass, uh, Lake Charles area. But we have to be prepared here for the potential for this to directly come in to the Galveston Bay area. And that's why you're seeing those mandatory and voluntary evacuation orders here uh, as more of a precaution in the event the storm moves further to the west. And there are going to be some people, we both know this, Jeff, that are not going to heed the warnings that are going to try to ride this storm out at home. Let's talk about the kind of dangers these people will put themselves in front of if they do not leave a mandatory evacuation. Yeah, trying to ride out a storm on the coast is, is just really not a good idea. And uh, you, you need to think about uh, the potential here for the water to rise, the seawater to rise anywhere from nine up to as much as 13 feet above the ground. Uh, that is over the rooftops of one story homes that are on the ground along the extreme southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana coast. So that is life threatening storm surge. But on top of that, you add the waves, and there's going to be wave action on top of that, and that could be another four or five feet. And so this is the most deadly part of a hurricane, and I can uh, say that if, if you are in those mandatory evacuation zones, you need to heed those recommendations, and you need to leave.